Hello, audiophiles of the internet, and welcome once again to Audio 46, your headphone destination. My name is Franco, and today we have another headphone review for you, as we will be taking a look at the Edition 15 Veritas from one of our favorite brands, Ultrasone. The original Edition 15 was released a couple years ago as an open back model, and now the Veritas arrives as the closed back version, which means that there are going to be some differences and some things that have shifted. We're going to cover all of those for you, so stick around because we're going to get into it right now. Let's talk headphones. First, as always, we're going to get into the box. The presentation of the box aims for an amount of class and luxury that you would expect from a high-end brand product at this price range, but is also extremely simple. In the middle of the box, you have your headphones themselves, flanked on either side by your two familiar blue drawstring ultrasone bags. Each of these contains a Litz wire detachable cable with a 3.5 millimeter connection, one of which is able to screw into a quarter inch adapter. Unlike some of the other consumer level products offered by Ultrasone, the Edition 15 and the Veritas version are both targeted exclusively towards serious self-professed audiophiles, and the materials here are intended to reflect that. The ear cups are made from American cherry wood, and the exterior covers are aluminum. In the original Edition 15, this was a stainless steel grill, while here for the closed back, it's just a solid plate with an engraved design on the front. The ear pads are also a little different in the Veritas, going from a velour of the original version to a very luxurious feeling merino leather, and they are attached to the headphone via magnet. Not only are these materials good looking and good quality, but they are also made sustainably in Bavaria, which is a big area of pride for Ultrasone. From a solar powered factory to locally sourced building materials and even a fleet of electric cars that drive these materials back and forth, you can feel good when you hold these headphones in your hands because you know they come from a company that is trying to deliver you a quality product, all while also trying to leave a smaller footprint, which is very admirable. At first, the shape of the ear cups does seem a little uninviting as it's pretty elongated, but upon wearing, they were really comfortable thanks mostly to the leather ear pads. One thing to note is that they are really big and there's certainly no low key way to be wearing these. They are chunky and they are going to stick out. Also, the weight is a bit heavier than usual for the edition line. These weigh in at 338 grams, but as I said, they were very comfortable and I did not feel like they were heavy or fatiguing in any way. Because this is an Ultrasone over-ear headphone, this means that it does feature Ultrasone's proprietary S-Logic Plus technology. If you're familiar with the brand or have seen our other reviews for their products, then you probably know how it works and that I am a very big fan of this technology. Essentially, S-Logic Plus uses drivers that are placed in a decentralized position in the housing instead of directly into your ears like most other headphones. This allows sound waves to be bounced and reflected against the outer layer of your ears at different angles to give you more spatial accuracy and mimic the way that we hear and process sounds in our environment in real life. It's a neat feature that makes it sound almost as if you're listening to speakers at a fixed distance instead of traditional headphones, which is hugely appealing for those who want a more natural sound experience. While the S-Logic Plus is a standard feature, the big innovation that was introduced with the original Edition 15 is the GTC driver technology which can also be found in the Veritas version. GTC stands for Gold Titanium Compound, which means that the construction of the driver combines a gold foil membrane with a titanium dome to produce the entirety of the frequency spectrum with ultra high fidelity and copious amounts of detail. These also feature ultra low emission MU metal shielding, which protects the listener from magnetic field emissions that occur when your headphones are converting between electronic and analog signals. Moving on to some more technicals here, the frequency range put out by both versions of the Edition 15 is a very generous 5 Hz to 48 kilohertz, ensuring a very wide sonic palette for whatever you're listening to. As far as the output impedance, these are a pretty modest 40 ohms, so they are right in that range where they could theoretically be powered by your computer or your phone. However, this output impedance combined with the 96 dB sensitivity does mean that you almost certainly want to pair these with an amp in order to get the best volume and sound quality. I highly recommend the Ultrasone Panther, which I've used here on pretty numerous occasions for testing and listening to different headphones. It is obviously also an Ultrasone product, so it pairs really well with any of their headphones, but it's also just a great all-around amp I've used with great results on lots of other different units. So in my opinion, it's a pretty good investment. Now onto some sound quality. When it comes to the soundstage here, the open back original version is obviously going to have the advantage over the new Veritas. 
The standard edition 15 grants all of the large spaciousness and expansive quality that you would expect from an open back design that is also taking advantage of S-Logic Plus technology to bounce those sound waves across different parts of your ears. This combined with the precise image allows you to easily locate your instruments and different sounds within the large palette that is afforded to you. The closed back of the Veritas offers a comparable experience and the imaging and layering retain the good balance of precision with the separation and distinction of parts. The biggest difference here is a more vertically linear stage that does lose some of the width of the open back model, which is to be expected. Overall though, the stage of the closed back is very satisfying and arguably provides for an even more immersive experience due to the seal from the outside environment. As far as the quality of the sound itself, the low end has a great combination of smoothness and impact here with a nice subtle sub bass presence that gives a good lift to all of your bass frequencies. There is a clarity and depth that creates a very nice dynamic quality with Without ever becoming overbearing. In something like Buenos Aires by Nathy Peluso, the chilled out neo-funk beat and slap bass has a pulsing undulation that gives the track drive and some good lift, but never tips into boominess and is overall very tasteful and very pleasant. As was the case with the original Edition 15, the real star of the show here in the Veritas is the mid-range frequencies. With a truly remarkable amount of clarity and detail that really makes its case as to why you might choose this unit over something else. Vocals and acoustic or rhythm instruments are brought forward to accentuate nuances and deliver a full, well-rounded texture. If you're looking to get the most resolution out of your vocal performances, then look no further. This headphone is excellent in this regard. As I've mentioned in some of our videos before, I always fold some salsa music into my test tracks for listening because of the lack of a kick drum, which really opens up that low end floor. And this genre absolutely shines in these headphones with a wealth of detail and fidelity. For instance, in Mark Anthony's most recent album called Opus, his bell-like tenor vocal can be heard with all of its dramatic breaths and articulations across every track and the lushness of the swoony mix of pianos, horns, and percussion makes for an extremely satisfying and immersive listen. Now, an area that is always gonna have a mix of opinions, especially with an ultrasone headphone, is the high-end frequencies. Because this is a predominantly audiophile-focused product from ultrasone, the highs here have a great smoothness and a great accuracy to be sure, but they lack some of the lighter, airier quality that you get in the open back version of the original Edition 15. High frequencies in the Veritas here definitely have an emphasis on sharpness and crispness, which does wade into a bit of harshness and sibilance as you get closer and closer to the extremes, which should be noted here. This is a quality that is pretty typical of Ultrasone's headphones, so if you happen to enjoy this, then you'll definitely be happy with how the highs round out the sound signature here. But if it's something that you're less a fan of, it's just something to take note of here, as the signature might not work for everyone. As an update of an already great product, the Edition 15 Veritas is a worthy companion that contains all of the quality of the original, while also supporting enough differences to warrant adding it to the collection of any Edition line completionists out there. These will be great for you if you like like simple design with quality build materials, you are a fan of the S-Logic Plus and MU metal shielding combination, and you prioritize a clear and immaculate mid-range. These may not be for you if you're not interested in a closed back version of the Edition 15, or you don't like Ultrasone's typical high-end tuning. All right guys, so tell me, do any of you guys have the Edition 15 out there or any of you looking to get this update? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you never miss another video from our channel and so you can always weigh in on the discussion. If you wanna learn more about these or any headphones that we carry in our store, then please visit our website at audio46.com to check out our blogs and other reviews. And if you happen to find yourself in New York City, then please feel free to drop into our brick and mortar store on 46th Street to try out these or any other pair of headphones for yourself. That's all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Franco with Audio 46, your headphone destination, and I will see you all very soon.